Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to a beautiful mess. Before we get to today's video though, I did want to just say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the subscribers that I have. I appreciate every single one of you and I just want you to know that you are helping me to help others and um, that means so much to me. You have no idea. I've really, there have been moments that I've questioned whether or not this channel is going to make it, if this was even a good idea. And, um, I, this is just so dear to me <laughs> to be able to help other people and, um, do something that I love at the same time. And so I really appreciate you um, supporting that and um, helping this channel to grow and for some reason I have no idea why but my subscriber count like more than doubled overnight and um, yeah algorithm thing I don't get it but I am grateful for it so I just wanted to say thank you thank you so much and I hope you enjoy today's video and I it is a little bit shorter because this week has been so crazy <laughs> with cleaning and I just oh, I'm having a hard time keeping up with it all but um, anyway so a little bit shorter one today next week I should have a little bit longer one but um, anyway thank you again uh, and we'll see you on the next video bye guys so today's video is the fourth and final one for this home. This is the same one that has the carpet beetles and pantry moths. And this is the master bathroom that we're cleaning today. Uh, this is what's coming up in the video. The homeowner told me that she had not even been in this bathroom for months because they had some wasps in there and she ended up going and spraying them all, shutting the door and then never went back in for several months until she showed me the mess. And that's when I decided I needed to come help her get it cleaned up. And obviously there was already a mess in there before she ever closed it up. Oh, and there's all the wasps you see dead there in the bathtub. But anyway, it was already a mess in there before she closed it up. Um, but again, that is just because of years of depression and then anxiety on top of that. And just really, if you don't understand mental illness, you won't understand how it can get this bad. But please be understanding and just know that People are doing their best and everyone has struggles that we know nothing about. I don't remember if I've ever mentioned on one of my videos before that I too have struggled with mental illness. I had depression for years and years along with my husband. We both kind of had it at the same time and it was a rough few years, but um, there the way that I deal with my depression is actually by cleaning and by serving. So I don't know if that helps anyone out there, but there is um, a place that you can go to find opportunities to serve in your community. If you go to justserve.org, there are lots of opportunities to help out in the community and it really really helps with your mental health uh, there's just something about serving other people that it's really hard to be depressed when you are helping others so I would challenge you to go check that out and do do a little something for your own mental health and help help the world be a better place this was another really fun toilet to clean and I don't think a pumice stone would have really cut it on this. I had to use my scraper to get a lot of this really stuck on scale, whatever it was, but I love my scraper. That's another tool that I have found that I just really can use in so many places. And don't worry, I do either use different scrapers in different rooms of the house or I thoroughly sanitize them afterwards. <laughs> 
The same goes for the brushes. I soak these in bleach and sometimes I'll even run them through my washing machine with all of my microfiber cloths with a little bit of bleach as well to kill any bacteria and I also do a vinegar rinse. This bathtub wasn't actually that dirty once I got all the wasps vacuumed out of it so not super satisfying to watch. So I started this bathroom in the morning and then I had to pause and go to work to do medical coding because I need to pay the bills. So while we're paused here, why don't you guys go subscribe if you haven't or like this video. Five hours later. And we're back to work. So as I resume cleaning, remember to share this. Also ring that bell or click the bell so that you get notified of any new videos I put out. And back to cleaning. So this is a really moldy rag there in the corner. And almost all of those bottles were empty. So I apologize if this makes anyone gag. It actually does gross me out a little bit, but since it was dry, it wasn't that bad. If it was slimy and wet, it's a little bit worse. So don't ask me why I used a bowl of water from the sink to rinse this and not just turned on the shower. <laughs> I have no idea why. Every time I watch this back, I'm like, what was I thinking? So if you guys have a glass shower door, you know how hard it is to get that hard water off. But, um, and this one came off pretty well but something that I found that I used on my own shower door that worked really well was a pretty dry scrub daddy and the pink stuff and just you know make a little paste out of that scrub it pretty good with that rinse it off and it actually worked really well My camera died while I was filming the countertops or cleaning the countertops and the sink. So I don't have footage of that. But anyway, so we're to the floor now. Last thing before the big reveal. Another not so smart move there. Why did I put the paper towels on a wet floor? I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, here is the after. Thank you guys for watching and remember leave a comment, subscribe, share, like, all the things. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much and you guys have a good rest of your day. 
Bye now.